Alrighty, hi Libras, this is going to be your reading for October 8th through the 15th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. This is going to be general. It will not resonate with every Libra out there. I do advise that you do check out your other placements if you do not have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, and Venus area in your chart, um, just so that you can get the proper message, okay? Also, if you're interested in joining my tarot class, if you haven't signed up already, definitely make sure that you guys sign up. If you're interested in learning tarot um, in a very unique way, the techniques that I use or whatnot, um, if you're interested in joining, definitely hit me up. At this moment while I'm recording, I only have 50 slots. So if you're interested in getting really cheap coaching for only $111.11, for seven weeks uh definitely join guys it's going to be worth the while okay so if you're interested in getting a personal reading joining my tarot class or checking out the extended reading everything will be listed below in my description okay so let's get into the reading my lovely libras what's going on my libras for october 8th through the 15th happy birthday always What's going on with my Libras for October 8th through the 15th? October 8th through the 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libras, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libras for October 8th through the 15th. Okay. So let's get into it. So I am seeing that you guys are really doing your thing when it comes to media. Uh, some of you guys who have online businesses... Those of you who just have an online platform, I am seeing that you are really doing the thing when it comes to that, okay? You're reaching a lot of people. A lot of people are taking in what you're doing and what you're saying, and people are just on your ass, okay? <laughs> um, if you're not on the media, you need to make sure that you get on it because I feel as if you will definitely prosper in that aspect, okay? Okay. My daily practice is going to be important when it comes to whatever you are doing. You need to make sure that you're working, working actively to perfect your skills, especially if you do work in the art. If you are somebody who is trying to showcase some sort of work here, you need to make sure that you're putting little touches to it, little final touches to it to make sure that it's perfect, okay? Also, you need to make sure that you're taking time for yourself, that you're not being you know, distracted by outside people or forces, you do need to make sure that you're spending that quiet time with yourself to gather your thoughts and actually collect this inspiration or even this divine guidance that may be coming in for this week, okay? Because I feel like spirit's really going to give you some information when it comes to your divine purpose. I feel like this week you're really going to have an idea of where you're headed, okay? Because yeah, money is going to be popping for you guys, okay? Money is going to be coming in, OK, a lot of you guys who have been given back, I am seeing that you are going to be reaping the benefits of giving back to charities or giving back to others or just showing your gratitude to others is definitely going to help you. Yeah, happy news is coming in for you guys. What's going on with my Libras for October 8th through the 15th? October 8th through the 15th, please. October 8th. Through the 15th for my Libras. Yeah, blessings, guys. Blessings on blessings. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of changes coming in for you guys. Some of you guys are going to have a chance for a new romance to come in. Ooh, right around y'all birthday. That's the perfect time. Ooh, okay, Libras. I'm a Libra moon, so... I hope this is for me. I hope this is for me. Okay, so I am seeing that blessings are going to be coming in for you guys. You need to stay positive, especially if things have not been working out for you for a while. You need to keep the hope and understand that you are being protected by your guardian angels. Some of you guys are actually going to be able to, because the veil is thin right now, honey. So some of you guys can actually see like your spirit guide or your guardian angel actually around you at this moment, okay? But I am seeing that a lot of healing energy is going to be coming into you. Uh, you may be getting this healing energy or this healing support from maybe a female figure in your family. Or you, if you're a female yourself, you may be providing that healing energy to others. Okay? I like that. 
Um, but keep that intention clear. Make sure that you are setting clear intentions with your magic or just in life period so that your light can shine with its greatest potential. OK, and you need to make sure that you're forgiving anybody who may have wronged you. Don't keep that hurt in because it could really block you from your blessings. OK, so give me some affirmations for my Libras for October 8th through the 15th. Some affirmations for my Libras, please, for October 8th through the 15th October 8th through the 15th for my Libras what is the affirmation you'd like to pass on for them for that week okay so we have ooh, guys the money is going to be so popping like I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys this I haven't even done a spread and I can already see that the coin is going to be on point but the card that I pulled, I have, I am financially secure. Okay. It says, trust that all of your financial needs will be met. Prosperity is yours and life is plentiful with everything essential to fulfill your desires. Remain open and receptive to all the financial opportunities that life has to offer. So yeah, finances are going to be super, super good. You need to make sure that you're putting that money away though, not overspending. And we also have, my thoughts are healthy, therefore I am. So I've been pulling this card for everybody. So I guess everybody's mental state is going to be a little um, cray cray <laughs> for this week. So definitely be aware of that, okay? I think I need to include that in the rest of my videos. But it says, think of yourself as a healthy being at all times and work towards an improved quality of life by actively taking the steps to incorporate healthy eating, physical activity and mental health maintenance practices. You can balance your physical and psychological well-being. So take that in consideration. And then at the bottom of the deck, I do have I am a masterpiece. So this says everything about you has been carefully curated. As a masterpiece, you are one of a kind. Uh, you are a one of a kind original piece of art. You provide the blueprint for accepting your uniqueness and putting it on display for the world to see. Basquiat's greatest works pale in comparison to you. That's beautiful, guys. That is beautiful. So keep that in mind for that week. What's going on with my Libra's love lives for October 8th through the 15th? October 8th through the 15th for my Libra's love lives. October 8th through the 15th for my Libra's love lives. Please and thank you. So we have, ooh, reconciliation. Soulmate. Oh my God, hold on, hold on. Past life relationship. I'm put one more, one more. And playfulness, okay? And then bottom of the deck, I do, ooh. Okay, I do have true love in reverse. So some of you guys could be feeling like this is not your true love. Let's see what's going on. But I am seeing a reconciliation here with a soulmate. Uh, this could be a soulmate connection for some of you guys. For others of you, this could be a past life relationship. Regardless of what type of connection this is, there is a very strong connection with you guys, okay? This is somebody who you have a very, very deep bond with. And I feel as if you may need to heal some family issues because of this person. Uh, this may be somebody who you have kids with. Um, whatever it may be, I'm actually going to pull some cards to see what's going on with this because that just threw me off how that was at the bottom. OK, so let's actually get into a spread to see further. What's going on? So what's going on with my sun, moon, rising, and Venus Libras for October 8th through the 15th? October 8th through the 15th, please. October 8th through the 15th for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus Libras. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus Libras for October 8th through the 15th. So bottom of the deck, I do have the Magician card here. We have the Magician, the King of Chalices, and the Four of Swords. So I feel as if you guys are trying to manifest something with somebody who is very emotionally um, 
reserved, very emotionally reserved. They don't really open up about the fact that they have emotions too. I feel like this person tries to keep it together and put on this front like they're good, but they're really not. Um, this person also may have a drinking problem for some of you guys, but I am seeing that you may be taking some time to really think about some things. This may have also been somebody who you took some time from to think about some things and heal some things within yourself. It looks like an Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe even an Aquarius. Okay. Um, but you guys are coming into the week as the two of pentacles. So definitely weighing out a situation. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's juggling right off the bat, but I feel like you guys are really weighing out some decisions or trying to weigh out your options as far as starting something new and taking a leap of faith with somebody. Okay. It could be with an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. Okay. But in the past, I do have the moon card. So there was a situation that you were very unsure about. Some of you guys... You could have found out that you were pregnant um, and you were very like unclear about what to do. But clarifying that, I do have the seven of chalices. So you guys, yeah, very confused. A lot of things. You felt like a lot of things could have went wrong with the situation, like very indecisive due to the fact that you just saw the pros and cons of the whole thing and you just really couldn't decide on what to do. Um... Yeah, somebody had to make a choice here. You may have had to choose between maybe a Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, whoever, okay? But I am seeing in the future, you guys are going to be mentally moving on, or excuse me, the guidance. The guidance that I have for you is to move on mentally from a situation that may have happened in your past, okay? Or the fact that the events that took place in the past ruined the situation and you need to just look at the opportunities that are present at the moment. Stop looking at the past and focus on your success or focus on something that's going to bring you that attention, okay? Because some of you guys may be dealing with somebody who's not paying you enough attention due to the fact that there's multiple people in this connection or they have multiple things to worry about. But what I'm seeing for the focus and reason, I do have the seven of swords clarified by the eight of swords. So you guys may have been may have been avoiding a connection due to the fact that you were in your head. Others of you, some of y'all was just cheating. And you were in your head about it. Also, somebody else could have been cheating on the outside. OK, but yeah, somebody was definitely not opening up, really trying to avoid something because they were in their head. And you may have not been sure about some things. So you had to figure some things out first. So what I see for this week's potential outcome, I do have the Empress clarified by the Ace of Wands. So there is going to be a chance for growth and a chance for you to definitely um get something started but i feel like you may be sad about something from your past okay especially if you are a mother um if you're dealing with the taurus whatever it may be okay but yeah i feel like you guys do need to keep hope and you do need to heal some things especially when it comes to you guys being able to move forward in a relationship so let's see what's going on with the cross watchers. If you guys are interested, like I said, in the tarot classes, definitely hit me up. The information's below. Anything that you guys would like to get from me as a service, it will be listed in the description box, okay? What's going on with my Libras, cross watchers, partners, the person that they're dealing with for September or not September, October 8th through the 15th, October 8th through the 15th for my Libras. Cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with, please. Libras, cross watcher partner person that they're dealing with. So, yeah, this person could be definitely watching you. Um, they may have a lot of questions for you. They really don't understand some things as far as like this love offer. They feel as if you have like this energy where you show affection sometimes and then you pull back. Also, this may be them. But um, I am seeing that this person does want to remain happy. They want to restore like happy times within this connection if there was any. For others of you, this person may have a child. Yeah, somebody may have a child. That's why they're not giving you all of their attention. Okay, also something of like a third party may have came to light and this person's not happy. Okay, um, this person may be focused on their success if this is a fire sign. If this is a Pisces, they're definitely trying to use their intuition. And I feel as if this person 
clarify the high priestess. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to walk away from situations that they intuitively know uh, there's another person in the mix. I feel like they are trying to also reconcile with maybe an earth sign. If this is a water sign. It's just a lot of people, guys. <laughs> I have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's a lot of people in this connection. Also, there just may be conflict and too much fighting between you both. And not enough love being expressed. So that's what I see. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If this resonated, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye, Libras.